We work very closely with other animal welfare agencies um, and so we heard from colleagues at the RSPCA and at the Mare and Foal Sanctuary that this large rescue had taken place from a centre in Cornwall uh, where they were providing alleged therapy services for vulnerable young people um, and also uh, keeping ponies for pony parties. And sadly, these particular equines were in a terrible state. They were emaciated, they were covered in parasites and full of worms, and they had to be uh, looked after by the Mare and Foal Sanctuary for a year. Um, and then they needed a new home. of characters, some more confident and some others who are a little bit more anxious of people and handling still. Within the group there are some pairs that are definite fondness for each other which can be helpful if one is more fearful and the other one has more trust. Due to the lack of basic handling these ponies can often present with behaviour stemming from the fear of not understanding what is happening or if they're going to be safe or what might happen next. They often won't have the same interactions with equine professionals like vets or farriers so can often present challenging behaviours within these situations. I think the big thing with Shetlands is they're also really small so um, there's a couple of things we find is that one a lot of the equipment is quite big and they're quite small so it's a bit more like treating a, a large dog um, so some of the equine equipment we have to have um, adapted or we have to use different things um, so that it's the right size for them um, the other thing is because they're little often um, we find that people have been able to overpower them in the past so the way of restraining them um, unlike larger horses who are often trained to be used to normal handling and husbandry procedures, um, people kind of wrestle little Shetlands and really overpower them um, and they become quite frightened so often we have to teach them um, all of these husbandry procedures right from the basics all over again. Each pony has a unique character and they all have their own personalities and life experiences. Not all of them will progress at the same rate or on the same track. Some may flourish with minor training from our team, whilst others may need months or even years to recover from the psychological effects of their past. With lots of our welfare cases come in, and because they haven't had good nutrition in early life, we um, often find, especially with the youngsters, that they have some um, orthopaedic problems as they grow. A lot of our rescue cases have really high worm burdens, so we often see ongoing gastrointestinal issues with, you, with them, um, more prone to weight loss, um, more prone to things like diarrhoea and actually you know, in the case of these little ponies unfortunately over the winter they did have a bit of an unfortunate episode uh, of diarrhoea where they had a clostridia infection and unfortunately we were able to treat it relatively easily and none of them got particularly sick with it um, but they, they are the sort of things that we do tend to see going forward. So the future for these little Shetlands that have come to us is likely to be amazing for them um, we hope. You never know when youngsters have been exposed to extremely poor welfare conditions, um, especially with parasites being involved. You can't be 100% sure that they're frankly all gonna make it long term. Sometimes the damage done to a pony's gut by worms could be so significant that only two or three years down the line is it apparent that they're actually not able to to make it through but fingers crossed Shetlands are very robust as a breed so fingers crossed that physically they'll all be fine um, and they will get the best possible veterinary and farriery treatment and whatever else they might need here.